And let's talk to Warren from Los Angeles. Warren, how's it hanging? Yes, about, uh, I'm a senior citizen. Well, congratulations. And uh, I live in a, an apartment uh, building where the landlord refuses to allow me to have a, an air conditioner. And I'm 79 years old in this heat. I'm almost dying. Is, is there anything I can do about that? Do you what? have a lease? Uh, what, what apartment what? month by month? What city are you in? Los Angeles, California. How long have you been in, in that apartment? Four years. Uh, they can't stop you from putting an air conditioning unit in the apartment. Uh, it's a health and safety violation. Uh, you, you can contact the LA City Rent Control Board, number one. Uh, number two, uh, you can contact the local city councilman's office uh, in the district where your apartment is. Uh, you can contact the county health department, uh, and these are all free services that will come out and do something about it. A man who, a, 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 you know, you're living in this apartment, you're paying rent in this apartment, and if you're at your own and no, no charge to the landlord, going to want to put air conditioning in, in the window, as long as you bring it back to the same condition it was uh, when you leave the apartment, they can't stop you from doing that. Absolutely not. And, and the list of services that my partner just outlined for you, that's my list as well. I, I, there's not, I, don't, I can't think of another uh, agency that you can go to, but the agencies that my partner just spelled out for you, I would contact all, right. Thank all of them. Thank you very much. Oh, and by okay. the way, they, they can't throw you out of the apartment for, for uh, uh, asking and, and putting in a... Uh, well, oh. I didn't know that. The landlord just goes around here and checks and, uh, and well, like an FBI agent with anybody having an air conditioner. And, uh, well, you know, the, the, uh, the, the landlord sounds like uh, the, there was a very funny kind of a movie out not too long ago called Mall Cop. And oh, it yeah. sort, of, sort of reminds me of your landlord. Listen, get, get some relief. Get the air conditioning put in there and uh, tell, the, uh, tell the landlord to cool off. Yeah, Thanks. exactly. Thank Th you very much. Okay, okay good luck. Thank you very much hey, for calling Legal imagine? Help Live. That's not right. In America, you know, uh, you won't. Let, you may take his Social Security away from him. Well, that's you may try and take his property away from that's him. That's federal government. You may try and foreclose on his house from him. But how the heck can you take his air conditioning away from him? You know, the landlord has a, a legal obligation to keep that apartment habitable. And in, well, that's in, interesting. In summer... By denying him air conditioning, he may be rendering that apartment uninhabitable. Yeah, but he's paying for it himself. Oh, to, you know. Well, that's fine. That's, that's fine. We didn't, we didn't even get to that point. Sounds like a, a real uh, hothead. Hot, yeah, or the landlord. a landlord. What a bad situation. Not nice. 1 800 405 4222. If you want to call in and talk about divorce, immigration, uh, out of state uh, tuition, uh, barking dogs, uh, Suing cities, suing lawyers, suing doctors, uh, anything to do with a law problem, you have it. We're here to try and help you solve your problems or point you in the right direction. Now, yes, I, I just thought this was interesting. And this is, quote, my financial tip of the day. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts yeah. uh, just went public, raised Millions of dollars in their stocks. Aren't they a, a Boston-based, Massachusetts-based company? Uh, I'm not sure, but I, they're I all so. over. They're all. Yeah, oh yeah, they sure but are. But they, they, the stock went gazillion, you know, almost doubled. Yeah. And it was it was the quote high tech stock in the last few weeks. Yes. There, there's in New Jersey, <laughs> they they arrested uh, a worker who, yeah, who was charged with. Uh, alleged prostitution at the Dunkin' Donut parking lot in New Jersey. For uh, she was trying to give him a little extra sugar. And was then this an employee? Uh, I'm not sure, but she was hanging out and working at the Dunkin' Donut, uh, and it was called the extra. Can I have a little extra sugar, please? Unbelievable. Kate? So she's turning tricks in the parking lot now. <laughs> I sort of this this was story this, this what, story broke at the same time. Was this like an incentive to buy donuts or? Something added? I, I, uh, did you charge extra? Or? The only reason it caught my eye was at the same time 
that they were doing this uh, multi-million, billion dollar. You know, I can think okay. of a half dozen jokes, but not one of them is fit for the air. Uh, how about if we go back to the phones? Why don't we? We hit. Jordan, Jordan from North Hollywood. What's going on? Yeah. How you doing? How are you doing, sir? Oh, couldn't be any better. It's a beautiful day in Southern, Southern California. How can we help you? Well, I've lived in my building currently for 12 years. Um, in the past two years, we've had an owner that's taken over the building and made it Section 8. Okay. A lot of 25 to 80 percent of the building is Section 8. Um, Section 8, for the rest of you out there, uh, is where the, the government pays a, uh, almost all the yes, rent. a very substantial portion. And uh, it, the rents are set at a certain price, and, and people who qualify can then get uh, assistance. To right, and I think what Jordan is saying, that part of the building is section, has Section 8 funded apartments, and part of the building doesn't have Section 8 funded apartments. Uh, apartments is that correct yes exactly we were actually we were fixed rent the rest of us and he's been he's been uh just neglecting the building horribly for a year and a half uh, uh, one of the section eight people moved in and brought cockroaches and they continually try to spray us every two months and have us move out our all of our stuff to have to be moved out and then move back in the building is falling apart and the owner's refuse to do repairs and uh, and it takes six months seven eight nine months to do repairs what what kind of repairs are you talking about well the 1994 when the last earthquake came it cracked the building severely everywhere there's cracks all over the building there's a, a fence with barbed wire in the back of the building that's it's coming apart. It's falling off the hinges. And the bugs are the worst things. The roaches are everywhere in the building. And for 10 years, we didn't have them until they moved in these Section 8 people. And they've, they've just neglected it. They just let it go. They're, you know, they're not. Well, why, don't you get out, why don't you get out of there? Why don't you leave? Why don't no, you because we're injured in a car accident, actually. We can't just move right now. Oh, okay. But is the rent that you're paying substantially below market rate or what? Yes, the other unit they rent here is thirteen, fourteen hundred a month, and we pay nine hundred. Okay, and you could get a comparable apartment for that same amount of money in a building where you wouldn't have these kind of problems. No, and our our, our neighbors have black mold on their roofs, and and there are people here that are older people, and or the. Okay, well, in terms pay. of in terms of your unit, that the landlord has an obligation to, to make sure it's habitable. And if, if you give them notice to repair the stuff and they don't do it, uh, then you can set aside uh, a certain portion of that against your rent. Uh, what is it? Uh, it, I think it? I think you have to give them 30 day, a reasonable notice. Yeah, I think, I, think it is, I think it's 30 days. 30 days, reasonable notice. And I think you then can set aside 25% of your rent approximately. That, that's true, but in addition to the traditional self-help concept um, there are a number of local agencies that might also help you you know this the city attorney's office in the city of Los Angeles this is city of Los Angeles correct yes sir the city attorney in, in the city of Los Angeles is is um, very active in the field of litigating against slum landlords and if you can get a, 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 the city attorney's office interested in protecting you uh, if, it, if it's that bad where you live, um, it's conceivable that the city attorney may go directly go after the landlord for, for uh, Criminal. may, criminally uh, and, and also possible civil sanctions as well uh, for having a, an apartment building that's so far below standard. What, what part of L.A. are you in? We're in North Hollywood, sir, and it's far below. It's okay. far below. We, we, um, there's a... There's a Office of the City Attorney's Office in the uh, Van Nuys, Van Nuys uh, City Hall, and they have a, a section in there that, that, will, that may well deal with this. Uh, there's also an 800 number uh, for the City Attorney's Office where you can call. As, uh, as Ralph indicated, there's a section that does, deals with slum landlords. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also contact uh, the county health department, the building department, 
uh, uh, rent control, the city, uh, city council person's office in your district. You know, by doing a few of these phone calls, you can start blowing the whistle on these people and get these agencies out there to do something about it. Uh, you can also get together with all the tenants and consider potentially filing a class action uh, against the landlord, or each one of you can file a small claims court for the damages that you all sustain every month uh, for any kind of inconvenience you're having uh, because of what the landlord's doing to you. So you have some weapons that you can use. Okay, thank you. We've, we've tried. We've called the health department. We've called fair housing. We've called everyone, and it's been very limited. The response we've got, they've all put us off. And, and Okay, then, it, then, it, then take the other approach. Uh, small, the and the, and the, small claims court uh, lawsuits against the landlord for the problems that you're having. Uh, you, you, can, you, know, you can get damages up to... Uh, Seventy-five hundred dollars uh, for each incident, assuming you can prove it. Uh, it may be less. How many units are in the building? Sixty units are in the building. We have pictures and All paperwork right. to prove everything. Per perfect that, that for is, you know. Perfect for individual small claims court actions. Uh, Jordan, are there other tenants who are as upset about this as you are? Yes. Unfortunately, the, the, the elderly or the immigrants whose English is very poor and they rely on me to, they come to me to tell me that there's the problems and ask them to help write the letters and to help handle the problems. Well, start, okay, and, take a look. Now there's six, six or seven people, three of them have cancer. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm not worried about just myself. I'm also trying to help these other people. Take, go, go on the L.A. Superior Court website uh, and look under Small Claims okay. Court. It's got all the stuff there. It's got all the forms. It shows you how to do it. Also at the Van Nuys Courthouse, uh, there is a, uh, a small claims advisor. You can go down there. They will give you advice how to fill out the forms and go through all of that. And all of that advice, et cetera, is free. Okay? There's an advisor. Yeah, thank you, gentlemen, so much. God bless you. We greatly appreciate your advice and your time. Thank you a million. Thank you. Okay, Jordan, good luck. And, uh, maybe you can call us back in a couple of months and let us know how it all went down. You want to hear no, more? No, thank you so much. Okay, take you, care. You want to hear a, a, a hokey lawsuit? You remember that 